What's up everybody? It's Haley here. This is my most requested live Ask Anything chat. I'm answering questions sent in by you guys. So thank you to Romeo and Most Requested Live for making this happen. So excited. Woo! Okay, first question. Jamal from Toronto asks, what was it like working with Zed? Awful. Working with Zed, honestly, was actually really amazing. Him and I have been wanting to collaborate for a while. In fact, a couple days ago, I found a tweet that one of you sent to Zed saying, like, collaborate with Haley, and he tweeted back saying, absolutely, one day, or whatever he, whatever he responded. Um, I screenshotted it on my phone. It was from a while back. So it's crazy to think that we finally collaborated after wanting to for so long and um, hearing that you guys wanted that as well. So working with him was amazing. He really is such a perfectionist and so professional, and so intelligent. Um, I had a great time working with him in the studio. Hannah from Ottawa uh, says, what can we expect on the upcoming album? Well, Hannah, so much. Um, I'm actually still working on it. I am currently in my dressing room backstage, the Untouchable Tour. It's happening all summer. Um, so when I finish this tour, I will be back home and finishing what I started with the album. Um, and one thing that's so amazing about working sort of on music is it's constantly evolving and changing and and you know what it is right now might not necessarily be what it is or will be different from what it will be when when I'm ready to put it out so um lots to expect and more details will come soon I promise Christy from LA asks when will you start going on your own tour it's a great question tomorrow just kidding. I'm on tour with Megan Trainer right now on the Untouchable Tour, which I'm absolutely loving. So whenever I get to go on my own tour, whenever that will be, soon, putting out in the world. Soon, I'm going on my own tour soon, everybody. Okay, it's out there in the world. Let's hope that, you know, something happens. Please enjoy this music while you wait. Okay. Um, Lauren from Liverpool asks, right now, are you starving for pizza or cereal? Lauren? Cereal. Starving for cereal right now. Starving for it. I have a bunch of cereal on this table right behind this camera. I got Cocoa Puffs, I got Cinnamon Toast Crunch, I got Special K, I got Life, I got Lucky Charms. Um, Ellen from London asks, if you could join and be a member of a band for a day, who would you choose and why? Wow. Probably, no doubt. I think that would be, that would be so fun. Or, I grew up listening to the Eagles, um, and I've seen them perform multiple times, um, and they're such a timeless classic, uh, classic band that to be sort of a part of something like that, that special would be pretty, pretty cool. Hmm. Isabella from Elk Grove asks, what's the best thing that's ever happened to you? Wow, that's a deep question. Best thing that's ever happened to me? Probably the invention of I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, Isabel, I'm thinking. Best thing that's ever happened to me? What's that thing they say since, like, bread, or what do they say? Best thing that's ever happened to me since sliced bread. That's what it is, sliced bread. Probably cereal. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's a great snack. You can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, or dinner, and dinner. Have it all three. You know what I'm saying? They can it comes in so many different forms, you know, chocolate bars, little protein bars, just the little candy bars, you know. Cereal is a great thing that's happened to me. It's a really great thing that's happened to me. Uh, Jessica from West Palm asks, what music act would you pay money to see? Beyonce, the formation tour. Or Rihanna, the anti-world tour. Um, wow, what else? Who else? break any day. Um, I'd love to see Madonna. I've never seen Madonna perform. I think that'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 
Lydia from Spain asks, have you played Pokemon Go? Lydia from Spain? I have not. I downloaded it, then it was like asking for emails and this and that and passwords and it just required a lot of um, time uh, that I don't have the attention span for. So, um, yeah, I, I downloaded it. I was halfway there, but I, I didn't commit. Um, I feel like it, it, it's something that I would really be hooked on, um, which could be fun because I kind of want an app that I'm like, you know, this is my app, this is what I'm doing. Um, but I don't know, I also feel like being on tour right now, there would be so many different places I can go and catch these little guys, but I have yet to get hooked on it. Caitlin from Boston asks, where were you when you first heard yourself on the radio and what was your reaction? I was in New York City. Uh, it played on Z100 and I was at Republic Records, my label's offices, and I was in the middle of a meeting. It was a very weird situation. My mom happened to get it all on camera, um, which was like another thing. So we were in this meeting and I'm sitting there and I'm kind of trying to have this conversation and then somebody like turns the music up from their computer. I think they were streaming it or something. It, I don't know, I kind of forget. It was There was a lot of things going on. Um, they started turning the music up louder and louder. I'm still trying to have this conversation and I see my mom and my mom's like on her phone and I'm like, we're in a meeting, like what are we doing? The music's playing, it's there. people are on their phones. Like there's people from the other office kind of running over and checking in, I was very confused. Anyway, cut to Z100, Haley Steinfeld, Love Myself, here we go, it plays. I was like, I tried so hard to keep it together. Actually, I didn't, I kind of like chose to lose it. Um, and I did, tears everywhere. Mom, hug me, please, show me some love. It was an emotional two and a half minutes. But, one of the best things of my life. Two of the best things of my life. Um, Charisse from Toronto asks, what song would you pick to be on the soundtrack of your life? All You Need Is Love, The Beatles. Yes, I was gonna say that would be one of many. Alex from Dallas. Ooh, we're coming to Dallas soon and I can't wait. Skittles or Starburst? Starburst. Preferably the pink, then the red, then the yellow, then the orange. Are there other colors? Green? I don't know. Anyway, pink and red. That's where it's at. Mm, okay. Alexa from White Plains asks, how do you keep yourself entertained when you're on the tour bus? Well, I do a lot of things. Sometimes I will hang between both of the bunks and swing. I've eaten it a couple times. Um, yeah, it didn't feel very good the next day. I landed right on my back. Um, but I continue to do it because it's fun, because why not? Um, I actually love sitting up front with our driver he's amazing and it's kind of amazing sitting up front sort of driving through the night there's something really cool about that um the idea of just sort of you know you play a venue you get on the bus you drive through the night you wake up in a new city and so kind of seeing you know the the journey on the way there is always interesting um even though it's mostly very dark outside and there's not much to see it's still very cool um what else do i do on the tour bus i eat a lot I eat when I get bored, so that keeps me entertained. Um, what else? Music, Apple TV, Netflix, all that, movies, magazines. I decorate my bunk. I organize things a lot. There's not a lot of like closet space or anything, so like like to like you know fold things up neatly, put them away, make it all nice and stuff. Do you know what I'm saying? So let's see what else. Laura from Santa Maria said, can you just say hi, Laura? It would be a dream come true. Hi, Laura. What's up? Um, check it. Okay. Amy from Walton said, you are amazingly talented and such a positive young woman. Would you ever consider doing primetime TV? Thank you, Amy. I would absolutely consider that. I think that would be so much fun. Um, I, yeah, so down. Are you kidding? So, so, so. So, down. Okay. Aisha from Sydney asks, will you be adding more merch and accessories so they are available to buy? Yes. Yes, I am. I will be. I'm very excited. 
Um, the merch that is on the Untouchable Tour will soon be available online, and once it is, I will make sure you know about it, and more is coming. So um, I can't wait for you to see it. Uh, Talia from Melbourne asks, what was it like recording Starving? It was so much fun. I love this song so much, and I am so excited that it's out and people are loving it. It's been so much fun performing it live, and um, yeah, it's been great. It was awesome recording it as well with Gray and Zed. They were so much fun, and we had a great time in the studio together. I think that is all of the questions I got, you guys. Thank you so much. It is always so much fun answering all these questions from you guys. Romeo is the man and so awesome that he allows me to do this most requested live chats with you guys. I love it so much. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you soon. Thanks Romeo.